The great services available at the hospital St Cross in Rugby are rightly cherished by local residents. But rugby's growing fast. We're delivering houses at three times the rate of a country, the country as a whole. And many people are concerned that additional services will be needed to support that growing population. I wonder whether we could therefore have a debate on how the government's health infrastructure plan will support smaller hospitals in growing towns like rugby. Leader of the House. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Um, the Government, um, on the 29th of September, announced its new health infrastructure plan to ensure that our health in- infrastructure works for decades to come. At the centre of the plan is a new hospital building programme, and the Government announced six new hospital schemes that are receiving funding to go ahead now and to be delivered by 2025 and a further 21 schemes across 34 hospitals that will start the next stage of developing their plans between 2025 and 2030. So there is a very clear NHS capital funding plan to ensure that the health infrastructure is there. Uh, And I commend my um, honourable friend for standing up for his hospital uh, in rugby. And it is true that local hospitals are cherished by residents up and down the country. 